Merhaba Mesut. Merhaba. Bölümün programı ne ve kaçıncı sınıftasın? I'm a, an art history major uh, in, in, in the PhD program uh, here at UW on campus. Ne zamandan beri Türkçe alıyorsun? Bu dönem hangi seviyeye kayıtlısın? I'm enrolled in the fourth level uh, Turkish, uh, so fourth semester t- Turkish, um, and uh, I've been taking uh, Turkish here at UW Madison for all four semesters. Neden Türkçe öğrenmeye başladın? Medisinde Türkçe dersleri almadan önce biraz Türkçe biliyor muydun? When I started to take Turkish, I did not have any prior um, knowledge of Turkish or any exposure to it, um, and very little exposure to the culture. But because I study Byzantine art, um, which a lot of it is now in Turkey, um, I thought it might be a good idea to learn Turkish uh, because it would allow me to travel and also engage with scholarship on Byzantine art. Medyasında Türkçe dersleri oldum. Nereden öğrendin? I heard about uh, Turkish courses um, at UW uh, through the FLAS program. So the FLAS program is a foreign language and area studies program that was uh, recommended to me by some of my advisors and also administrators in my program. Um, and the FLAS program allows students to take different languages and Turkish uh, stood out for me as a particularly interesting uh, subject and uh, useful language to learn. Eğitimin boyunca ya da mezun olduktan sonra öğrendiğin Türkçe ile ne yapmayı planlıyorsun? I want Turkish to help me communicate uh, especially during travel so I hope to travel to Istanbul and perhaps Anatolia and other places in Turkey and um, I, I hope to be able to communicate um, during trips, but also I think that um, searching, uh, doing library research, being able to type in uh, into uh, search frames and the keywords to be able to actually um, do research in Turkish. And then finally, I think that reading Turkish, um, being able to uh, translate the scholarly works in Turkish um, is going to give me a, a big advantage over um, up-and-coming scholars who might not know the language. Diğer dillerinle karşılaştırdığında Türkçenin en çok neyi ilgini çekiyor? What strikes me most about Turkish language is uh, that there is no differentiation of gender um, pronouns for words and um, I think that's very different than other languages that I have studied. I studied Greek that has a similar um, uh, sentence structure with the verbs usually being put on the end of sentences. Um, and I have also, um, I also speak Russian and Polish, so I have uh, become quite familiar with different um, ways languages operate. But the gender um, differentiation, I think, is, is a unique feature of, of Turkish, at least as I have experienced it. Medisindeki Türkçe dersini en çok hangi özelliğini seviyorsun? What I like most about the Turkish class that I'm taking at UW is that the class covers not just language and grammar, vocabulary, the, the regular things that a language class covers, but also aspects of culture, so food culture as well as um, film, the arts, um, the way people live, um, one of the great features about this class is that we've watched uh, Turkish movies, so produced by Turkish directors and at the same time being able to learn the way that people talk. And uh, it's a great introduction to the Turkish culture and I think it's so important to pair together learning a language with learning the culture because it also um, gives you a sense of why learning the language is so important. Türkçeyi ABD'de yabancı dil olarak öğrendiğini düşünürsek, ders dışında Türkçeni geliştirmek için fırsat buluyor musun? I do have opportunities to speak a little bit of Turkish outside of the classroom. Um, I have a friend in my art history program who is Turkish, 
and uh, once in a while um, I will see my friend and we will speak a little bit of Turkish. I also have met some um, Turkish soccer players playing um, soccer together intramurally and, and just for fun on campus here. So that has been a great um, way to gain some friendships. It really was a wonderful opportunity to um, at least start conversations with them and therefore gain contact. But the most important um, engagement outside of the classroom occurred just after the first semester. So I was returning uh, to UW after a visit uh, home for for winter break and I happened to meet a Turkish scholar, a professor who was teaching a semester uh, class here at on campus from Turkey and uh, he happens to actually um, study Byzantine um, anthropology so so he's an anthropologist but studies Byzantine culture and just starting to talk to him a little bit in Turkish I was able to uh, befriend him and he uh, he gave me some good context in Turkey, some of his friends who are scholars in Byzantine art or in culture um, with whom I can now um, engage with and email and ask for different opinions so it's opened up a lot of doors for me just after one semester of taking the class. Türkçe öğrenmeye başlamadan önceki dil öğrenim hakkındaki varsayımlarını bugünkü düşüncelerinle karşılaştırınca bir fark görüyor musun? Eğer görüyorsan hangi açıdan fark görüyorsun? My past experiences with languages um, have made it clear to me that learn, learning a language is not easy. Um, and at the same time, um, I think that learning languages is a lot of fun. And I think those are perspectives with which I came to the class. And um, it is true in a way that it is both fun and difficult to learn Turkish. At the same time, I found it to be not as difficult as I thought. And also, the, the challenge uh, gave it a, another dimension, which I think is quite important. It um, highlighted the importance of, of learning languages, communication, and things like that, which goes beyond just having fun. En sevdiğin Türkçe kelime veya ifade hangisi? My favorite Turkish phrase or word is tamam, which is the equivalent to the English okay. And I find myself using that word um, outside of the classroom. So sometimes I'll be shopping, even with my wife, we will go shopping and I will, and she doesn't speak Turkish, but I will sometimes uh, say tamam, or as, as an agreement, I will sometimes be speaking with my colleagues, my friends, and just using the word really randomly in regular conversations so I I find it a fun word that can be um, just used in so many different situations that I find myself using it um, but it doesn't um, interfere with my conversations and I think people don't notice it so much.